just passing that on to you, you probably don't know nothing about it. But I'm saying to you just like Dexter said, we got to notify our representatives, we got to stand up, and if our nation is to survive, we got to make it survive. And the way we're going to make it survive is when we stand up for what is right and exercise our right. We say we are a nation of laws, then we got to make sure that these laws are in place and that we got enough courage to stand up against things that are working against us and our children. Got another call concerning my YouTube from Washington, D.C. And as a result of that, last year I went to the home office of Walmart and they gave me four days all expense paid because of my video on YouTube. So say what you want, our government is still working, but we got to make sure that it's working. And so let us continue to get the truth out. Let us stand with the representatives who are here tonight. I am enthused about what I see tonight. When I see our elected officials here at the Democratic Party and coming to this, these meetings, it makes me feel good. And I believe that it's going to increase the membership of the Democratic Party when the people that go to Atlanta, Dexter, I really appreciate you, uh, not only the homeless but also the town hall that I missed, but I heard positive things about it. Keep it going. Gretchen, I thank you for the work you're doing, and I thank all of you all for coming. And if I missed anything, you'll see it on YouTube. Thank you very much, George. Does anyone else have something that they'd like to say to us? Is there any old business that we neglected? Oh, Demarcus. Good evening, everybody. Um, I would be remiss if I didn't say anything. Um, big shout outs to uh, you know, the elected officials here, Dexter Shopper and Joyce. Uh, we all got vision. We all um, are looking at big things. But like Dexter said, we all, like a map to, heading to Atlanta, we got different roads. We got to find out which road is the best road to, to get there. I only want to say uh, one thing besides uh, thank everybody and happy Easter and everything else, and that this is a very important time. When I say that, you all know that uh, the Lowndes County Board of Commissioners not only approves their local government's budget, but provides funding for all the constitutional officers. This is the time that they're doing their budgets to formalize and present to us, which all of it would be approved you know, probably about the summertime frame. But if you got any ideas, any concerns, this is your time to approach those other boards. You heard the executive director of the Re Vitals Regional Airport come up here and tell you the chairman has sent a letter to the county, that particular board, asking for funding for the tower. Your school boards, your sheriff department, tax commissioner, you know, all of these are are going to be uh, passing your millage rates. These are things to think about. But they're all during their budgets now. And that's basically what I'm getting at. We do not micromanage the constitutional officer's funding. We provide it because that's the law. You all are the citizens. You all attend their meetings and influence the way you want to see your tax dollars spent. I highly suggest you do that. This is the time because after the budgets are done, and we in August or September, that ain't the time to say we want this, so we need to get that. Follow the money, you'll follow, find a lot of the issues. If you want to make change, you got to deal with the money. Because you ain't dealing with the money, you really ain't dealing with much but just talking. They hear you, but they don't really see you. I'm just being honest with you all, and I think it's time for us to start having that frank conversation as Democrats. Um, a while ago, he brought up all the positions that are available on those boards. Please apply. I'm looking for some political scientists. I'm looking for some people that have been there, done that, some people that have those type of, the type of experience that we need in Lowndes County to help move it forward. Not to say some people here can't do it, but we need new ideas. That's part of why I'm here. That's how I got elected, in essence. So, um, with that being said, I thank everybody for coming. Thank you for having me, uh, Gretchen. Y'all have a good week. Thank you, thank you Dexter, for, uh, DeMarcus, for bringing up the budget um, process. Uh, 
It is really important, you know, the county will hold um, two public hearings about the budget, but by the time they've done that, all of the input from all of the departments is finished. Um, so now is the time to request last year's budget, see what they were, did last year with the money, and if you have any questions or thoughts on how they used the money last year. And then, because when those budget hearings come, it's um, not so much hearing as telling. The county will tell how they're going to use the money. So now, you're exactly right. Now's the time to have your voice heard. Um, Wynne Roberson, our membership chairman, is planning on doing a phone bank this Saturday at 2 o'clock. If you are interested in doing that, just um, ring him up. Uh, his number is, uh, I don't have it on me. Uh, his number is in the mail that you got. Um, because everybody gets the email and it has all of our phone numbers in it. Uh, Dr. Marks is mine, Dr. Sager's. So Wynn's number is in that email that you got. Ring him up, tell him that you can help him on Saturday at 2 o'clock. We're going to phone some people and try to drum up a little bit more enthusiasm. 630-2339. 630-2339. Roberson, our membership director, a phone bank on Saturday afternoon, 2 o'clock. Pardon me? Uh, he, he has the location. I do not have the location. Our next regular meeting is Monday, May the 6th. Jake Price, the county agent, will be here. The county agent is a confluence of the county um, government and the university cooperative extension. They have a building out on 84 East, which is a county building, um, and there it has to do with 4-H and farmers and all of the services that the extension provides to our county. So he'll be here next month. Our barbecue is going to be Tuesday, July the 2nd um, at Knights of Columbus. Um, plan on coming to that. We'll have uh, an excellent speaker lineup, still working on it, but it'll be excellent, it always is. Um, and local candidate qualifying is that last week of August. It's not too early to think about running. It's not too early to think about filing that form that says, hey, I'm thinking about running, and that lets you collect a little bit of money so that you can decide whether you actually want to or not. Um, and if you know somebody in your mind and you think, I think that person would really be good on the school board, city council, hey, hi, Ramey, or whatever, talk to that person um, and encourage them. Thank you very much. Is there any other business? We are adjourned.